Recently, I did a video introducing you all to the new animals on my homestead, which are a mated pair of super African geese. So you're probably asking yourself, Punky, why geese? So um, for, actually, before I get into it, the reason why we're not filming actually with the geese is because I still haven't quite earned their trust and I don't want to freak them out, like being in their, their, their little paddock I set up for them and, and uh, being loud and talking and freaking them out. And besides, they're super loud. They're the loudest, I think the loudest animal I've ever been near. Like um, people have said that African geese can be loud, especially super African geese, which is basically you take an African geese and supersize it <laughs> and supersize their voice as well. And they actually don't talk a lot. If you talk to them, they'll talk back. It's not that they're constantly going bah, bah, bah. It's that when they honk, it's, it's deafening. It sounds like an air horn. Like <laughs> I can hear them from anywhere on my property. So they say they make good watchdogs. But anyway, that's also why we're not over there because you, won't, you wouldn't be able to hear me at all <laughs> because they'd just be like, bah, get all upset. But let's talk about the geese. Okay, so I've talked a little bit about the thought of trying sheep and that might still be in the future. And part of that is, you know, I, I still am not entirely convinced that larger livestock is worth it, but I have all this grass, <laughs> I have all this grass, as you can see, that is basically being unutilized. You know, I spend a lot of gas on my riding lawn mower, mower to mow it. And then I put those clippings to good use because I dump them in with the chickens, they kind of dig through it, process it and compost it, which is cool, totally cool. But I feel like, I feel like something needed to be inserted between me, me it growing, mowing and composting. There needs to be an extra, an extra step in there somewhere. Like I, I want some animal to utilize this and be able to like rotate them. So one, I don't have to mow. And two, there's somebody, there's something directly utilizing this unused, untapped resource on my property. Because not only do I have a lower lawn that's really big, uh, I have the orchard. The orchard is this huge cleared area, which was, it's really difficult to get over there and mow in between the trees and everything. So I'm like, if I could just have something to run on it, like a pasture. Now, one really obvious choice is, is sheep, but that brings into a lot of the problems that come with larger livestock, which I've talked about a lot in the past and how they kind of end up between, you know, a lot of, there's just, there's a lot that goes into that. So I'm going to explain the counterpoint to that with geese. So. I'll get to that in a moment, but I was like, I don't know if I should do, I don't know if I get into sheep because they're so expensive and et cetera, et cetera. But I'm like, you know what? Let me stay within the zone of poultry, which I'm very comfortable with. And I believe are much easier to take care of, easier to automate and all those other things. So let me try geese. Geese are a poultry that is vegetarian, 100% or at least 99.5% vegetarian and they will basically live off pasture very easily and they will convert that pasture into meat um, in eggs to some extent but they kind of I'm more focused on whatever eggs are laid by my geese I want them to produce babies so I want babies I want her to sit and hatch so the geese that I have they're relatively young. They're mated pair. She did set eggs last year, but uh, she was she was from. They're both some from a rescue. So this this was a uh, a farm, I guess you'd say, with a ton of other geese. And one of the other geese kind of came in, or a couple geese kind of ganged up on her and destroyed her nest. So she didn't end up bringing those goslings into life. But she is she's ready to do it, and that's the great thing about geese. And that's one of the advantages is they are broody by default. I mean, they never had. The, they breed once a year and they produce eggs once a year. They don't lay eggs all the time. And because of that, that combination of things, that was never bred out of them. So they're kind of like the, the wild animal in a sense. They're, they're, it's all about mating and creating babies, which is really good because I'm approaching the geese as sort of like a, a, a feathery sheep. <laughs> I want to build up a flock. <laughs> I get, No, flock is still an appropriate word for, for geese. I want to build up a flock, a whole herd of geese, and have them running in a pasture and producing babies and possibly selling those babies because these super African geese turns out they're such a rare and desired breed that goslings run for 50 or 60 dollars a piece which is crazy and even I looked online even trying to buy them online it's like that much or more so I could just sell the babies outright or I could bring them up let them grow up and then harvest harvest them for meat 
Now, meat is has become, you know, for anyone who's been in my channel for a long time, you know that I, you know, I've had these issues with meat and how do I obtain meat in the most eth ethical way possible and I've had a lot of conflicting things. Well, health news is that I I've had a lot of a lot of health issues um, over the years of being at the homestead and before that. But it's looking like I may have some food allergies that have developed. So meat is probably going to become a bigger part of my diet, whether I want it to or not. So I, I really need to be okay with, with raising meat. So I'm going to do more videos on that related to my health issues and also related to getting comfortable with the idea of killing. But getting back to the geese. So we have an animal that, unlike a sheep, is relatively cheap to, to acquire. Um, relatively easy to take care of, does not require the sort of like vets and, vet and veterinary care and vaccinations and other things that you might have to do for larger livestock, easier to feed, easier to take care of. Um, so all in general, I think there's the, the geese will provide me the benefits of say a sheep or like a larger pasture animal, but still be more manageable and easier to automate, which is one of my big things like poultry is. So I'm excited about that opportunity. Now, will I still try sheep in the future? Yeah, I might because <laughs> I'm, I actually miss my goats a lot. Goats were just too much because on top of all the other like livestock issues, they're just a pain in the rear to raise. So maybe I'll try sheep, but for now I'm going to try these geese and I'm really excited. I can't wait until spring. Uh, I'm going to get, I'm going to put them out on pasture. I got to invest in a large amount of electric netting and a really good solar charger for across the street. The chickens are freaking out, but uh, I'm really excited to have the geese. And I think it's going to be a really great, a great uh, development for my homestead, diversifying and providing another food source and a food source that can utilize an unused resource on my property. So I'm very excited. So I'm hoping it'll all work out. But I will admit that I, I'm not really super familiar with taking care of geese. And these geese are, I'm trying to earn their trust. Like tomorrow, I think I'm going to like sit in their paddock, with like some coffee and throw them little nuggets of corn or something. Hope, <laughs> trying to earn their love and affection. Because ideally, I want all my geese to be comfortable with me so I can easily move them. So just, they'll just follow me along as I move them through the pasture. So I think that's all I really have to say about the geese for right now. I'm sure I'll be talking more about geese, their advantages and whatnot, especially next year when I really have them set up properly. Right now we're just kind of in a holding pattern because winter is upon us. Uh, so I'm really just kind of battening down the hatches for winter when it comes to my poultry. But uh, next season I may also be doing quail and ducks and I'm gonna go crazy with the poultry, but we'll see, we'll see. I don't wanna overextend myself. But uh, so I think I'll call this good for now. I'd love to hear your feedback about geese, uh, your input, any experience you've had with them. You know, let me know because I would love that sort of insight and feedback. And uh, yeah, I look forward to the future. So if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on any geese awesome action. And thank you for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey. Bye bye.